new setup, which is the DJI Pocket. As you can see, it holds everything easily. I'm not sure whether you can hear me because I'm not using, I'm using the inbuilt uh, ZV-1 mic. Uh, but yeah, so this is very, very easy to use. I just take this out. This is the built-in mic. And uh, I'll just clip it on to myself here. Inside. That's about it. It's kind of concealed below there. All right. And then uh, when I'm ready, I'll just take this out and just turn it on. Then start recording. Hopefully, it works with a built-in mic right now. And I'm looking at myself, recording myself. That's so cool. As you can see, the field of view is pretty good. All right. So this is much easier for me to just take out and uh, film. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to merge these two uh, recording together um, and uh, take the audio from the uh, pocket two. So as you can see. The autofocus of the ZV-1 is remarkable. This is something this fellow can't do well, uh, just because it's of the sensor size. But uh, again, the panning shot of the pocket is second to none. And there's another thing I wanted to try out later in terms of uh, uh, different light condition. Then you will be able to see hopefully the the main benefit of having the pocket too, which is. Uh, uh, less tearing and artifacts uh, in the video compared to the ZV-1 and also for example an action camera or the phone uh, hopefully I'll be able to capture that later yeah. so the other disadvantage for this fella is of course the battery is built in and uh, it won't be able to last the whole day and uh, but we'll see how far it goes uh, I just realized I didn't turn on the wireless mic just now but right now I'm recording on both the ZV-1 and the uh, uh, DJI Pocket 2 as you can see there is a difference in field of view okay. let's test out the stabilization shall we while we are walking so we are at uh, Pataling Street this morning just had uh, our breakfast and now we are going uh, to walk to the temple and then we're going to grab lunch probably here as well so what do you think i can see from the monitor i think the zv1 has a better bokeh effect Everything is on auto. So we are just opposite the temple. It's a bright sunlight today. Beautiful day. And now I'm gonna try to walk into this little corridor here. And I'm gonna try to show you and there's a change of lighting condition. Still good. Right, and now we're gonna do a recording using my Samsung S10 Plus in 4K as well. So here we go, the same route. Right, sunny condition. Here we go into this. Out again. Alright, so now I'm on a DJI pocket. I'm just gonna make the same route I just took. Here we have a small little corridor.
Okay, we are going out again. Alright, so I'm going to compare when I get back. Uh, editing the video, hopefully we'll see there's a difference here. So we're just walking down Tulling Street. This is the very popular open area, but unfortunately, there are a lot of uh, people who are not so well to do and they are homeless and they camp, I mean, uh, they spend the night here, as you can see on the walkway, all right opposite. And if you walk further down there, it's actually Charasta Market. We're not over. Used to be a geographer cafe down there, but it's they're closed now. They moved somewhere else. I can't recall where it is. All right, so that's from the DJI Pocket. I'm gonna change over now to the ZV-1. Here we are with the ZV-1 and uh, it's recording from the built-in mic. All right, so with active civilization, everything is on, on auto mode. Let's go. slowly to assist in the stabilization hopefully now here's where we have the change of lighting conditions I'm not sure what was here previously Go down this way. I'm walking a bit more briskly across the road just now. And there's the beautiful Manara Maybank. Okay, let's head on into the shade. So hot today. Let's go into the shade again. Of the pandemic, of course, there will be a SOP with a fixed number of people allowed inside. Of course, you have to scan and take your temperature right there, as you can see, in all the entrance and exits. Alright, 
I'm back on my Samsung S10 Plus. Just gonna do a short walk here. Unfortunately, it's uh, quite low on storage space, so I'm not sure how long I can take this. This is a good example of a low light. Oops, nearly tripped over just now. There's a famous pork noodle shop on the right. So now we're at Merchant's Lane um, Cafe. Uh, it's, it's, it's a very nice uh, cafe. A little I'll show you guys around. Um, but I also wanted to show you my ZV1 setup this time, right? So obviously, without the, the, the uh, because I already set it up earlier, but if you can imagine setting it all up before filming, it's more of a hassle. Uh, but of course, it doesn't have that focus. I need to cover my face for it to be able to focus. And then uh, it doesn't have a, a mic built in, and I will have to get my ceremonic mics here, wireless mics uh, and pair them with a ZV-1 for it to be able to do wireless uh, mic audio recording of course it, as you can see it's quite a hassle putting it all up, taking it out of the box uh, the, the, the where is it, let me see uh, taking it out of the pouch screw this in put it on the cable with an external uh, ceremony um, receiver clamping the uh, transmitter on me and then turning it on and you know the setup is slightly more uh, time consuming if I may say so of course this is already quite easy from if you um, would to add a further gimbal to this for example the Zhiyun which really makes this uh, amazing setup with the Zhiyun uh, gimbal uh, but that, you, for, uh, for the gimbal, you have to balance it out again and that is another process altogether. So, what I like about the um, DJI Pocket is that, you know, it, it's so simple to, to just take out of your pocket and start filming uh, almost uh, immediately. Of course, it can't be as fast as the action cameras like the GoPro Hero 9 or the DJI uh, Osmo Action. Hopefully, they come out of Action 2 soon enough. But uh, this is a good compromise because it offers great stabilization uh, without um, electronic stabilization. And because without electronic stabilization, it doesn't have that artifact of screen tearing or fluttering uh, as what they usually term it. And uh, hopefully earlier during the walks at the Pataling Street, I was able to illustrate what is that is like, especially on the ZV-1 and also on my um, Samsung. Uh, S10 Plus, uh, but that is the strength in my opinion for the uh, DJI Pocket 2. No. Right now in Merchant's Lane, uh, we are seated at not a very uh, well lit area as well. So I'm sure if I would have turned, uh, if I turn this on, which I'm gonna do that now. Okay, uh, turn this around. Tweak this a little bit. Then start recording. So as you can see, the ZV1 is not as the colors. I mean, the the the, the scene is a little bit dark. Field of view is another aspect, right? Now let me show you something even more cooler on the Pocket 2. Okay, as you can see, the DJI Pocket is. Uh, place right there and it's actually aiming at us and the cool thing is that I can control it on my phone using the DJI Mimos app okay so I can adjust the position 
and then the cool thing is that I hope I can get this done. Uh, I'm gonna change the setting to 1080p 60. Okay, hopefully that's it, and then I can. All right, so it's tracking me now. Okay, let's see how this works. I'm gonna start recording. It's now tracking me, hopefully. Well, so this is the cool part about the DJI Pocket 2. And right now the audio is from the wireless mic. And oh, hopefully it's tracking me. It's kinda cool, right? Okay, so this is the strength of the DJI Pocket 2. It's the ability to be able to track and uh, the wireless mic is just built into the, the Pocket 2 so it's so much simpler as a device to bring about to record right so what do you guys think about this place Merchants Lane the decor is lovely I like this old rustic um, look of the place yeah I shall show you guys outside as well all right so all the Pocket 2 as well right now I'm attaching this mini tripod below now the audio is from the zv1 so the cool thing is they have this uh, casing they come to this to protect it of course you can just easily uh, keep it when not in use and you can clip the wireless mic right above here and of course you can still keep this tripod if you like but of course it's too big now the other thing i wanted to share with you guys is the inside of this casing i hope you can see it so it has compartments for the wide angle lens and also the adapters for the phone. Kind of cool, right? It's what the ZV-1 does very well in the composition, autofocus, and you can see the bokeh effects. Uh, does really make the whole subject stands out. Our fish has arrived. Our order. Uh, this is the fish rice. This is actually salmon cubes of salmon, and this is the uh, unique and popular pancake nasi lemak. Isn't this gorgeous? Uh, this is my setup right now for this cafe. <laughs> I'm doing filming this on the S10 Plus. So now I'm recording on both sides, the DJI Pocket 2 and also the ZV1. The ZV1 is facing down on the the food of obviously. Now I think this is what I I'll use the both cameras for because the ZV1 is amazing for close-up shot and uh, the autofocus for um, uh, the product showcase, which I'll show you shortly. So I'm gonna try the fish rice it's a nice piece with the onions and the peppers look at the colors of that it's gorgeous isn't it let's try it out mm. Mm. Oh, the flavors, my goodness. There's um, caramel mayonnaise on the onions. Wow, fantastic. Mm. Mm. So, so good. All right, let's move on to the star of the show. Okay, so I'm curious how this pancake works. Back to the ZV1. So you can see here, these are the chicken rendang. This is the um, um, onion sambal, the eggs, and the pancake is right below there. And hidden, tucked away, the bottom would be the anchovies and um, peanuts. I'm take this out away. You can see that. All right. So okay, let's tuck in. Okay, 
pancake nasi lemak. This something else. Okay, I'll have a little bit of the. So you can see that the pancake, and the chicken rendang. Cheers. Mm. The anchovies is a bit um, not as crunchy uh, as I expected, but the rendang. Hmm. Mm. Portions here is huge. I don't know how I feel about this. I, I guess because when you order nasi lemak, you'll be thinking coconut rice. You know the savory, fragrant coconut rice, which is missing here. But good attempt for something unique. I can see why they are popular. Hmm. Totally miss out the sambal. It's a try. Mm. Very fresh. Mm. Delightful. What a meal. Right now with this. Mm. So good. So that's it from Merchants Lane. Thanks for joining me on this amazing day at Petaling Street and uh, for me to test out my camera gears. Uh, sorry it was a little bit out of topic but uh, I'm quite passionate about this because I want to give you guys the best footage and uh, view of the things I'm capturing. So anyway if you guys could do subscribe to our channel as it would be immensely helpful to us and um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next videos then. Bye! Well I'll go finish my meal.